welcome back to another episode of Java for Beginners, which is put on by cppforbeginners.com. I am your host, Damien, and we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, more complex if statements, uh, specifically nested ifs, and not why you should avoid them, but why, if there's another way of doing things, you should typically look for it. So, the idea of a nested if is a, a pretty simple idea. It's basically an if inside of an if. So let's assume that we have a, a model that goes something like this. We'll, we'll keep running with the idea of pay, because having something as easily quantifiable as money uh, makes our lives very easy. So we're going to make a number called pay. Uh, we'll make it a double. And we're just going to kind of set, you know, pay uh, equal to something. So we'll do double pay equals zero. Just uh, initialize it to zero. Actually, you know what? We won't. We'll uh, initialize it to input dot next. No, oh, no. Should be next double. There we go. Sorry, I was having some issues typing there. So. Okay, we, uh, we have some input for pay. Now let's assume that we want to break it really into categories. And you can, you can use this functionality for something much more useful than what I'm about to do. I'm just going to output, you know, the pay is between, you know, X and Y, so whatever it is. So let's start with uh, if uh, pay is less than or, you know what, let's say less than 1,000, okay? So, all right, if pay is less than 1,000, we're just going to do a system.out.println and say pay is less than 1,000. I know, I'm not being very original here, so don't crucify me for that. Now, we can use an else and inside that else, we're going to break it into a bunch of other if-else statements. So let's say that inside the else we have if pay is, uh, let's say, less than 1,200. We'll then say, uh, I'm just going to copy this. Um, but what we're actually going to do here, we're going to say if pay is greater than 1,000 or pay is less than 1,200. Um, so we're going to say is less than 1,200 and, sorry about the terrible punctuation, and greater than 1,000. Okay. So now we're going to have another else. And now, if you couldn't have guessed it already, we're going to basically copy-paste this, and we're going to have yet another uh, thing here. So we'll say if it's greater than 1,200 but less than 1,500. So again, we'll go one deeper, just to make it sort of like Inception. Um, and if you haven't noticed, it's it's getting kind of hard to see what uh, where these brackets go. Like if I highlight it, the IDE will show me. But imagine you printed this out on a piece of paper. How would you figure it out? How would you, you know, how would you realize where you know maybe this outer if you know corresponds to that, but this else you know goes all the way down to here. Uh, because it's containing all this other if-else structure. So we'll go one deeper. Um, and we'll say... Uh, this one's just going to be uh, a simple one and be if greater than 1500. Or well, greater than or equal to. Alright, so... Um, these should all be greater than or equal to's, by the way, or else we're going to fall through on the numbers. All right, so as you can see, we have a pretty ugly mess here. 
Um, what we should be trying to do, uh, what's good form to do anyways, is if you line up your per, uh, your brackets underneath the ones that they correspond to, it's easier to kind of tell what you're doing. Um, it doesn't always make it the prettiest program in the world, but some people like doing it that way. I personally like my brackets left aligned. Um, you know, they, they should be at scope level. So in that case, I'm going to leave mine at scope level uh, rather than uh, aligned with the ifs. But it's personal preference, whatever makes it easier for you, but if you're not viewing it in an IDE, I'm sure you can tell how it might get a little uh, difficult. So basically what this does in perhaps the most complicated way possible is based on what the pay is, it's going to output uh, oh, that should be 1200, not 2000, and that should just be greater than 2000, or 1500. Get you guys not correcting my mistakes. Okay, so we'll give this a run. And I don't know if it's running. Oh yeah, because I did that and I didn't prompt myself for anything. So let's say uh, I do 1501. So here's a question for you. Why did this happen? So less than 1200 and greater than 1000. And the answer is simple. Because I used greater than or equal to. And you'll notice I used the OR statement. So what I actually need to be doing is using the AND statement instead. So let's change it to that. And again, we'll do 1501, and now it works right. Sorry about that. Boolean AND, Boolean OR. Blech. Um, basically, when I was using the OR statement, which is a... Uh, two vertical lines like that, it's the key right above enter for those of you wondering. That means or, that means if this condition is true or this other one. And means that both have to be true. Um, we'll be getting into more complex ifs using and as well as or uh, sometime soon. So the basic idea behind this is, you know, why why are we doing something that's this difficult? Why does it have to be this hard? And the real answer is it doesn't. There's no reason for it to be this hard. Uh, there's a very good chance that in the future I will show you guys uh, a way to use cases to make this much easier. Um, but with that being said, I'm sure you guys can kind of tell why to avoid these. And that's kind of my, my point here, is if you're ever in a situation where you have to use a complex if, it happens. I mean, there are programs where you're going to have to check for a lot of different things. But using an if structure like this should really almost never come up. There's usually a more elegant solution. So with that being said, uh, I think I'm going to leave it off here and make this a, a fairly quick lesson. Just because I, I've got out everything I needed to say about it. I mean, uh, if you're going to be dealing with complex ifs, ugh, the syntax gets ugly, The you know you end up indented to the moon. It's just, it's no good. So for now, I'll leave it at this. Um, ifs have a lot of syntax, they have a lot of ways that you can screw them up with just minor little things as you saw with me here uh, confusing my or and my uh, and. It wasn't so much that I confused them, it's just I didn't think clearly through the problem before I started coding, which is fine. So if there's anything that you guys want to program using a, a nested if statement that's a little bit nicer than this, I'll, uh, I'll toss it up as an example on this, just so you guys can reinforce your own stuff, because I know that this is basically the most boring, like, 
program on the planet. So I'll just uh, make the user enter something up here. Oh my god, this keyboard's killing me. So I'll just toss uh, a statement asking them to enter a double here. Um, enter a double. I'm not very polite about it. Just do it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. I am Damien. This has been another episode of Java for Beginners. Uh, if anybody needs any help or wants to code something that's a little bit nicer than this, this was kind of slapdash. Uh, let me know. Shoot me a PM or just post it on the forums. Uh, if it looks nice, I'll add it as an example. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.